Hey guys, Will from Cheddarflow here. I wanted to put together a very general product overview tutorial for everyone. To kick things off, the order flow comes in real time and is Eastern Standard Time. We only track orders on the ask side and above. We mainly do this to reduce the overall noise that's out there and to mainly give a higher probability of pure directional plays. So let's jump into the table and talk about some of the areas of interest a lot of users have questions about. Starting with the spot column, this is the column that tells you the price of the stock at the same time of the option purchase. Going into the price column, this, is, this column basically tells you the amount each contract was paid for. Then going into the premium column is the total amount value of the trade and looking at the open interest column these are just basically contracts that are still outstanding so here's a quick tip with the columns you can actually rearrange these to the way you want instead of using the basic defaults we have set up for you however one thing to know is that they do not save so if you go to another page or refresh your browser they will reset to the defaults so each order also has additional information about it. If you click on this little icon here, you will notice that there are three areas of interest. Order details gives you a little bit more informational breakdown, such as showing you the Greeks and what sector the stock is in. With chart analysis, this brings up the specific chart for the symbol. This is powered by TradingView, so you can easily do all your technicals inside here as well. With 7-Day Flow, this will quickly kick you into the historical view and show you the order flow for the entire week. So quick tip here, you can also directly select the symbol from the table to perform a quick search. So over here we have our filtering options. There are over 20 different options to choose from. You can also combine these to create even more granular views of the options flow data. So for example, I wanna combine opening orders and let's say above ask. Once you've selected done, you get a nice little indicator telling you how many you have selected. You can also clear the filters directly from the side panel here or you can do it from the dashboard located here. Over here on the left hand side, you can control the sound notification of all incoming orders with this button. And this button here, it will take you directly to the help center where you have a lot more information about the application and how it works. So let's head over there so I can explain more in depth of what all the highlights in the table actually mean. So we're inside the article that will help you guys get a better understanding of what all the highlights mean. The orange highlights are orders that are $1 million and above. The purple highlights are unusual orders that have volume and or contract size greater than open interest and are increasing in implied volatility. Blue highlights are highly unusual orders that must have contract size greater than 5,000, are out of the money, and are weeklies. We also showcase size lots that will highlight blue when a contract size will be greater than 5,000. Symbols that are highlighted in gold are classified as a repeat call activity. Basically, what's happening here is that Cheddar Flow will, will intelligently highlight these orders when we spot consecutive calls coming through into a name. Another thing to point out is that once we spot a put order coming in, the gold highlight will completely disappear. So that's basically it for the main page. Let's head over to the historical flow page and I could tell you a little bit more information about that. On the historical flow page, everything looks pretty similar to what's on the dashboard. However, there are a couple things to know. The data here does not come in real time. Additionally, the repeat call activity feature where the ticker symbols are highlighted in gold doesn't show up here since that is mainly for real-time usage and same-day activity. So there's actually two ways that you can search the data. 
You can pull in all the order flow by leaving the search field blank and selecting your dates like so. Or you can search for an individual name like so. One quick note on the historical flow page. This is one of your most valuable tools when understanding option order flow in general. Having the ability to backtest your strategies and getting a weekly or a monthly view of the flow data is really important when making your trading decisions. On that note, let's head over to the flow overview page. On the flow overview page, you get a top level summary view of the flow for the day by top bullish, top bearish, top sector, and most active. We separate these out so you can get a quicker understanding of where all the order flow is moving into. It's really hard to get a glance of what's happening from the dashboard data alone. So being able to spot the top movers by today, yesterday, this week, and last week is very beneficial. The dates are also reflected here. Lastly, you can directly dive into any light item to pull up its flow information. The table itself retains all the same capabilities such as being able to sort and rearrange the columns to your liking. Let's head over to the unusual volume page. Unusual volume displays a list of equities whose options are exhibiting significant volume spikes. This is beneficial for traders who often look for trading opportunities in equities that are experiencing very high daily trading volumes. The data shown here is different from our proprietary alert system because it displays a total of all the options volume heading into a particular symbol. What this means is that it's capturing trades that are coming in on the bid and mid sides as well. Remember, Cheddarflow only shows trades on the ask side and above. Depending on the size of your browser, you could be missing out on additional information. So make sure to horizontal scroll over so you can get the full view of the data. Some quick tips on how to utilize this information better. We like to look at the option volume column and put all the highest volume orders at the top. This way, it gives us an easier view to digest the biggest volume spikes. Lastly, it's great to grab simple ideas from this page and start performing some searches on the options order flow page and historical flow page to spot any notable orders that have come through our system. This will help you start putting together a strategy around a potential trade setup. So that does it for the tutorial. I hope this helped you guys understand the platform better. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to support at chatterflow.com or hit that chat bubble at the bottom right corner.